Today we'll be making a special Nigerian grill spice, yaji, using grilling meat and in making varieties of dishes. It takes every dish from zero to hundred, as you'll see later. So let's see the ingredients. You have ginger powder, garlic powder, seasoning cubes, quilly quilly, dry shallots, ehuru, calabash nutmeg, and your dry pepper. And here are the ingredients. Like I said, always check description for these. So, in a blender, you're going to pour in your kuli kuli. I use a very flat kuli kuli for this. Then your ehuru goes in next. Your shallot, dry pepper, your seasoning will be the next to go in. Yeah. Then you're going to you know, subscribe first. Yeah. I hope you have. If you've not, please do so. So we're going to go and blend now. Blend it. It is very smooth. Yeah, blend till smooth. You can use the flatter type of kuli kuli for this. It will be easier to blend. Drop your questions in the comment section and we attend to them. Like this video too as you proceed to see the other process. So now you're going to add the garlic powder, the ginger powder. Then you mix mix to incorporate make sure everything is well mixed recommend this channel to your family and friends okay so your yaji is ready so you're going to pour into an airtight container it can stay for months it can last for long yes so now we're going to use it to grill something fish and potatoes I'm going to use the spice to grill this. I can use it in other things anyway. Well, first, let's see the things you're going to need. Like I said, check description for all of this. In a bowl, you're going to mix bay leaf, one chopped onion, and chili. And then you're going to get your spice, the one we just made, just a cup. Like this video, please. So, once you pour in the spice, next is your vegetable oil, one over eight cups. Then you mix well. So, you get your soup, which has been washed and cleaned. You make an incision just like I'm doing on both sides of the soup. You can use any type of soup. You can once you're done, you begin to stock the fish with the new spice. Yeah, all the openings. Also, massage the body. Very well. Once you're done, you can place some of the onions in the incision. Remember, I use one onion for the mix. I'm using the second one now to stuff it. So next you get your potato already cleaned and chopped, add vegetable oil into it. Next, the remaining spice, because we use half to stuff the fish. Yeah, everything goes in and then you begin to mix to massage it well, so everything will mix well. Drop your questions, I will attend to them. As if YouTube does not tag this video as our for kids, because once they do that, they will lock up the comment section. So you begin to place the fish and potato on a foil paper. Everything is ready. You can still add more onion if you have tomatoes. If you want to add more pepper, you can garnish with that. So you fold and grill for 15 to 20 minutes in a hot oven until the potato is soft. Potatoes don't take time to cook. So it is ready. It is ready. <laughs> Good food. My, my. So you can use this spice for almost anything and everything. You change it, whatever you're cooking. Take it from 0 to 100. So now for the added of the liquid. 
but I can't live without dropping one. So let's get it. The one sound in it is also in it. <laughs> you got that. So it means use every negative thing to your advantage. Turn the negative to positive. So don't forget to like, recommend, and share this video. So, goodbye from me to you. See you next week. Bye.